Hello everybody. I hope you enjoy this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Blue Goose Garage. So, here we go. I don't know how much of this I'll end up showing you in this video, but uh, I want to try to show you as um, much of it as I can. And it's been a little bit since I haven't made anything on this. So these are the door. This is one of the doors that I got to replace the doors on my 67. This one's the driver's side. Um, I stripped it down and primed it, and it's just got one little tiny dent here, and it's got a little bit of rust on the outside corners. But that's in really good shape compared to what I had. Those doors that are on that car were basically just to help me get it back on the road. And in the older videos, and even more recently, I've said I can always go back and replace parts as I find better parts but at least by using whatever it is or whatever it was I would have um, something on the car so um, that door's pretty straight uh, I'm going to try to replace the minimal amount of metal Good enough. It makes this door the blue door, right? Because there's a piece of the blue door in this door. And there'll be a piece of the blue door in the other door. So that means I restored these doors. All right, so as I kind of showed you, I cut some metal out of the other door after cutting this out, and I have now welded that in. It's not professional smooth, but it's, well, better than my normal for something like this. So now I want to mix up a little bit of fiberglass, fiber all, and just smooth it, smooth it on there a little bit. And uh, I'll show you some more here in a second. That's fiberglass, and that's fiberglass. Most of that will get sanded back off, of course. So. Uh, it didn't seem to warp the door up down here anywhere when I welded that. The reason it's not level is because the patch isn't level. But you can go back and you can watch the previous 67 bodywork videos and, and you'll see that uh, this is much more better because... Uh, well, I'm trying. And, uh, you know, you can look at it this way. This can all be for nothing if uh, I'm opening the door to get out at a car show or at a gas station and the wind catches the door and bounces the door edge off the concrete. So, you know, nothing's forever. 
This is just to try to make it uh, last a little longer. I have sanded the fiberglass. Also sanded on that dent. I've mixed up some filler. I'm going to put some on here and when I get it on there I'll show you some more I figure we'll work on this as long as I can stand it tonight I showed you some of that I did this one and that one too uh, I'm going to sand this here in a minute and then I'll show you some more. So I sanded it. Looks pretty good and it feels good. I was going to use my other spray gun. The cup started leaking. So. This one needed clean, needed cleaning really bad. But I'm able to make it work. Looks pretty good to me. Good enough. While it's still kind of got a shine to it. That looks decent. All those spots are from where I took a flap wheel and stripped that door. That'll all come out. Uh, this side looks really good. I'm trying to show you this with the shadows. Looks pretty good. And Can't find nothing. So that looks pretty good. So now this door is to the point that I have to uh, block it, you know, hand block it. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. There's no more rust that's coming through anyway. <laughs> There's no more rust that's coming through, and it looks pretty good. I'm happy. After that dries and I sand it and prime it next time, I say you won't be able to see any of that. So, it looks pretty good. So, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I tried to show you a little bit more than I normally would. Um, that's uh, pretty much how I plan on doing all of this on the 67 this time. The doors, the quarters, uh, everything. I uh, 
kind of want to show you is me actually doing something. So uh, the next video might accidentally have a tripod. So I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.